Hello there, my name is Chronix and welcome to part 3 of my neuro based tutorial. In this part we're going to be covering surgical EQ and automation of our sound. In part 1 we covered the initial sound creation and part 2 covered the effects chains and modulation. So if you haven't seen those then I suggest going back and watching those first. Okay, first things first is surgical EQ. Surgical EQ is the process of using sharp notch filters to cut out any unwanted resonant frequencies within your sound. Uh, this makes it cleaner and easier to fit into a mix. So if you've followed parts 1 and 2, I'm sure you're going to be aware that I've now got some, uh, some elements of a track built together here for these purposes. Um, the initial sound that we created in part 2 was this kind of sound okay so uh, down here I've got an EQ 8 Ableton's built-in EQ uh, first of all I'm going to show you the surgical EQ if you look down here this is switched off at the moment but if you look down here I've made notch cuts at these various frequencies now to do this I'll show you I'll put on a new EQ8 just there and basically if you click on one of these nodules turn the Q up higher and the gain up higher you, you get a cut like that now to find the unwanted resonant frequencies just hold down a key and sweep through the spectrum with the frequency dial uh, they're pretty clear you should be able to hear them okay so there's one just there so I'll bring the gain all the way down the next one repeat there's another one bring that down and there's another one just there and just rinse and repeat that process until you're happy with the sound and it sounds a lot cleaner okay so I'll get rid of that one now because I've already got one that I done earlier just here so if I turn that on turn it back off just helps it sound a lot cleaner uh, you, sometimes on some sounds I end up having two or three of these EQ8s with these notch filters cut out of them uh, depending on what type of sound you're after varies on how many of these filters you're going to have on there uh, for this sound I'm only using the one now onto automation Automation is the process of drawing or recording points within your track where you want parameters to change. For instance, a low pass filter opening up, high pass filter closing, notch filters sweeping up and down, various effects like so. Uh, so this is the initial sound. I'll just solo this so you can hear this play through. Uh, these pink lines within Ableton are the automation lanes so you can see the sort of automation that I've, I've drawn in here we've got a basic drum break which I'll, I'll show you these first so basic drum break and then I've got some added kicks and snares on top of that okay uh, this is the initial sound that we created uh, I've just got a few stabby hits here with the automation of my macro one controller from the instrument rack opening up which sounds like this okay and what I've done here is I duplicated the instrument rack like so I'll delete that one 
but I duplicated it so it's exactly the same sound. I just drew in a couple of different notes here. And what I'll do is I'll solo this out so you can hear the effects I've put on there. So with this instrument rack, it was exactly the same sound as what we created in part one and part two of my tutorial. Uh, just at the end there, we've got the surgical EQ and I've got another EQ here and a third one. Now, if you look down here, we've got various different automations on these lines. We've got the macro one controller from the instrument rack doing its thing there. I've got an EQ8 with the frequency low passed and that's going to be opening up and closing at various points as you can see. And then also on another EQ I've got a high pass filter as well so it, it just brings a lot of movement to the sound. I've got a simple delay with small feedback and low on the dry wet and some reverb and chorus added as well. So that's going to sound like this. It's soloed out. So this is this sound. And as you can see down the bottom here, the automations are making all of these nodules here move. And this one here is also moving, the Macro 1 controller. So now if I play that sound, if I take off the delay, reverb and chorus that I've put on the end there, sounds very dry. I, I think the uh, the delay, reverb and chorus uh, give it a lot of depth to the sound I think. And, and to get these uh, lines in here you can either record live or you can do what I do, just double click to put in the different nodules and drag to where you see fit. You double click them again they disappear so as I say it's only a small loop we've got the drums we've got kicks and snares and a break there layered up we've got the initial sound that we created and a second initial sound that is an exact replica of the first uh, with just different parameters on there and some delay and EQ and now if I bring that back to the start loop that over and this is what it sounds like Sorry, I forgot to turn the, uh, the second part on there. Try that again. Okay, so that is pretty much my neuro bass tutorial. Obviously, that's a very basic sound that we've created there from the start. Um, it really comes into play once you play around with the automations and parameters, like you see here. That's, that's quite basic, but you can go a lot more in-depth. Uh, you can add extra levels of instruments. The choice is endless. It's, once you get to this stage, it's, it's more trial and error. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If there's any more tutorials that you would like to see me make, please don't hesitate to get in contact with me. I'm always looking for new ideas. Uh, if there's any other ways I can help you, again, get in contact with me. It's It's been a pleasure. Okay, thank you very much and goodbye. <laughs>